Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Mary Ellen Pan. Well, yesterday's front is stalled just to our south. No severe weather expected today, but we're still going to be contending with some showers at times. Now, it may not rain at your house all day or uh, it may be dry right now. You're dealing with a lot of cloud cover, but every once in a while you'll see showers skirting through the area. We do have some light rain moving from Harrisburg towards Lebanon and then down in southern Franklin County. We've got a batch of rain. Now, there was some lightning strikes with this, but it's weakening as it moves into a more stable environment. A lot of cloud cover, but still some light showers pushing into Adams County towards Gettysburg and speaking of Gettysburg, we do have some wet roads here, cloudy skies, and that's the that's the case all across the area today. Dew points. Wow, they're still high upper 60s to low 70s, so you're feeling that humidity. Thankfully, though, temperatures are not scorching hot like yesterday where we hit the 90s. In fact, they are much cooler today, anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees cooler. We're looking at readings right now, 74 in Lebanon and Lancaster, 73 in Sealands Grove. 70 in Lewistown. We have 74 there in Carlisle. And I expect temperatures to stay in the 70s. So your News 8 Storm Team forecast calls for those cloudy skies to hang on. Showers at times. Just want to have that umbrella handy if you have plans to head out uh, just in case. Cloudy tonight. Scattered showers still possible. Patchy fog is also. And you're looking at temperatures to drop into the mid and upper 60s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. Scattered showers. We'll, we'll see a conveyor belt of moisture moving in tomorrow from the south-south east. It is going to be a muggy day. Again, we're going to see temperatures hanging back in the 70s. In your weather and health, pollen levels are low once again. The air quality has dropped. It is now good. And the UV index with all that cloud cover burn time really close to about an hour. So let's take a look out uh, at the setup right now. The stationary boundary is just south of us. Here's a look at Debbie. Eventually this front is going to absorb the remnants of Debbie as it continues to make its way up into the Atlantic. But tomorrow, as I mentioned, our flow is going to be coming in out of the east. And when you get that easterly flow, that just continues continues to pile in the low level moisture. So staying cloudy through the rest of the day today. And again, you may see some showers at times tonight. Showers will be possible and then tomorrow you notice the movement from the south southeast as scattered showers will continue to lift through the area. Now Thursday night into Friday morning. Here comes the center of circulation of what is Debbie and that is expected to move to the west of the Susquehanna Valley. So we always say to the right of the center of circulation, a lot of lift in the atmosphere. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of rain, possibility of some flooding and also some spin in the atmosphere, which could produce some tornadoes. So we'll be keeping you posted here in the next couple of days as this storm system continues to lift up into the mid Atlantic. Then it just lifts on out of here and it is zooming out of here rather quickly. So here's the latest. It has strength and winds are back up to 60 mile per hour per hour and it is back out over water, but it's going to make landfall as we take a look at the track uh, sometime tonight into early tomorrow and it'll continue to lift into North Carolina and then into uh, Maryland, Virginia and Maryland. And then you can see it, the actual center of circulation is just west of the Sus uh, Susquehanna Valley. So we're looking at quite a bit of rain from this system and then it becomes a fish storm. It'll eventually move through the uh, New England and head out back into the northern Atlantic rainfall potential. This includes today, tomorrow and uh, rain from Debbie anywhere from two to four inches and there will be some isolated amounts a little bit higher than that. So flooding is a huge concern. You could see much of the area on Friday in a moderate risk for flooding. Quick look at the 10 day. Good news is this is all out of here. Sunshine returns, less humid conditions return. Temperatures still running below average. It will be pleasant just in time for the weekend.